Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. Today, we are back with the Bulldogs career mode and we're about to play three games today. Two of which will be highlights and a live game to wrap it up. Uh, this first one, we are back on road taking on the St. George Laura Dragons. And we're coming into this, looking to bounce back from back to back losses. So after the initial arm wrestle, the first bit of points came on the back of a, a nice little line break, the classic play, the cutout ball from Matt Burton who's been on fire. As of late, despite the losses, he creates the line break, gets Karaz through, a little bit of a ricochet sends Vitala Mariner down the field. We did manage to get into the Fox, but the offload was a loopy one. A few plays later on the last, Moses receives it with all players in front of him. We kind of have to adjust, aim for the post, and Jackson Tolpin is there to scoop it up. A pretty decent try, to be honest. Uh, the posts have been, uh, let's say, saving us these past couple of weeks. Anyway, not long after, we get a scrum feed. Left side of the post, 20 outs, and we run the old switch play. It doesn't always come up, but we manage to bag our second pie of the match. Moses converts as well, and we go up by 12. For St. George, their first try came with six minutes to go in the first half, and it was Moses and Byatt Hooker getting away from one and dragging another with him over the line. Yes, Moses and Byatt. The second half was pretty quiet, uh, pretty trash to be honest. Our first points came with like 20 minutes to go in the game, and it was on the back of a St. George forward pass, one of the worst we've seen. The scrum plays is where I like to think we do our best work and we pull off another classic, just soaking up the numbers and send Matt Burton over for his own meat pie. The conversion from right in front gets us a 12 point lead. As for St. George, it was a little too late for them. They hit back with uh, a couple minutes remaining and it's a bit of a soft one. He did take our foot off the gas pretty much and that essentially wraps up round 10. For round 11, the week before Origin, we face some former teammates in Zach Docker Clay and Jake Averillo, who do play for the Titans now. Much like the second half against St. George, this, this whole game was uh, super quiet, low scoring. By the way, if you haven't already, be sure to run and shoot that like button. And don't forget to hit up that comment section. So back at home, we were first to draw blood. This on the back of a nice kick return, a hectic kick return from Jaden Ockenball, who almost goes the length. Uh, we had it too late to find the pass out to the Fox here. But not long after, that cross play or the crossover play strikes again as we get a beautiful pass out to AJ Brimson. So the former Titan strikes first. As for the Titans, they get their points on the back of an error from us. Bit of ill discipline, that's how it goes with these games. And uh, it was actually a pretty simple try for them, scoring right under the posts. Now I say simple, but what I really mean is soft. We get super close again in the first half, playing off the after back play, we go short. The try saver was pretty nasty. Uh, illegal? Possibly. Leading with the legs, you'd say. Uh, but it does stop Raymond Vitala Mariner. It takes all of about 60 minutes until the game is decided. It goes into Golden Point extra time. Matt Burton creating something through the middle gets clipped high. And it's a bit of an anticlimactic ending. An easy kick for Moses. We will secure the win. Former Bulldog, Zach Dokar Clay, picks up man of the match. And we barely scrape by at home. And that brings us to round 12. Our opponents, the West Tigers. Um, I kind of stuffed up our lineup here. We got Wakeham at fullback. I was supposed to have Karaz there, but I accidentally confirmed our lineup. I guess we can do some shuffling and whatnot. I did want to play Brimson at the six though. I reckon he'd kill it in the six. We can shuffle players around if it gets too uh, heavy for Wakeham at the back. But for the moment, we're going to leave it as is. Taking a look at the Tigers here, year two. They've got the Jets still in the team. Birmingham at... The seven, not too sure who that is. Could be a creative player, could be a Holden Cup player. All in all, pretty standard. Just want to test the power. Didn't look like much. Vitala Mariner straight through. Oh, did he overrun it? The support runner. Right on his shoulder. Look at that step. That's Jake Simpkin streaking away. That cheeky angle change. third okay we'll wear that set up for the flat ball there we go forgot to mention our boy Jarrell Scouts and Nick Meany in the meantime we'll score in the corner shameful a shameful chip kick I don't care <laughs> we're going for the dubs boys we're going for the dubs as we missed this one from out wide 11 minutes to go. That's a nice little short ball. The support back on the inside. The offloads. The offloads. No way. 
That's actually tough to get on Legend. Consecutive offloads like that. Man, I'm buzzing. I love that play right there. Through the middle, the offloads. First of all, that short ball to fight Tyler Mariner. He gets the offload going. They're nice offloads too, not the looping ones. And Marshall King, fresh and fast through the middle. In supports. How good. 10 to 6, already more points scored than our previous stinker of a game. That was touched. Jacko. Has a speed for the vet. Looking for support here. Again, a bit slow. That's happened a few times for us. Oh, the penalty. Trying to serve something up. Left side. Vitala Mariner. Drawing pass. For Nick Meany. An early double. Scouting. These last couple tries haven't been like set plays, but they've been clean nonetheless. Clean in their own way. Three minutes to go. That's standard, isn't it? Stay on them. See if they take the two. Don't really see score lines like this from me. 8 to 14. Some odd. But not really odd. Look at this play. They were determined to get it back out to their right side. Fifth and last. They go to the skies. Who's under it? Jimmy Tama. Oh, that was that was dirty. That was dirty. That little offload. I saw that. Here it is again. Just a couple of units doing outside back type things. Tama styling. He's tackle one, two, clear him. 14 points apiece. Again, odd numbers. But not actually odd. It's a nice run for Brimo. Bit of cheese to get around. The last line of D. Beyond the auto for its one out. The big dummy. Big old dummy from Vitala Mariner. No one falls for it though. Pff, another big hit. What's that? 3 or 4 for the game. Short side. Beautiful board. Skelton. And he gets over. Jarrell Skelton. The left side still killing. Let's take another look here at the play. Vitala Mariner having a mad game so far. Ooh. Feet to the scrum for the Tigers. Got us scrambling. That's two. That's three. Finally. They go oh, right back inside. Clean inside ball play gets them over. Twenty points apiece still. Could very well go into golden point extra time. Man, we're struggling, eh? Desperate. What a set. Twenty-one meters gained. You hate to see it. Not a bad clearance here from Beyond the Auto. And that's Junior Tupo. Gets around two. Thankfully taken by. Oh, the charge down works. Seconds remaining. Got to go again. They've got Brooks or whoever the hell's in the seven. Birmingham. He slots it. The unknown kid wins it. Full time, full time. And we fall short on the road. 21 points to 20. West Tigers pull off a pretty hectic comeback, boys. If you did enjoy that. As always, don't forget to run and show the like button. But for now, we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you. We don't play, we gon' stay until we pay so go in. Later. Give me that. I want the smoke, I don't care if you broke, go and give me that. Don't talk in the smoke, watch me hit him with a kickback. Hezzy, stop.